Hi everyone. So um, today I wanted to show you how we can have um, kind of more interactive way of zooming and studying together. Um, so like for example, if you, if you go to a breakout room, I wanted to show you how somebody could share uh, their tear sheeting exercise, something like this. It goes, oh, okay, so here's breakout room number one, explain that to us. And then, you know, we can draw on it, write on it. Um, further and things like that. So that would be something that I wanted to show you today. So this is how you how you do it. Um, so here's a regular zoom. I'm just talking to myself here just as an experiment. So what you do is you, you go to share screen and you in here you'll see whiteboard as one of them. But in order for each of the breakout rooms to actually be able to have a whiteboard, uh, you go here and then you say um, advanced sharing options. And when you go to advanced sharing options, you'll see that how many participants can share at the same time. Okay, one participant can, that's fine. Who can share? Not only host, but all participants. Okay, um, who can share when someone else is sharing? That's only host is fine. It's just an override thing. So then once once that's done, now each person um, in the breakout rooms, I, everybody everybody actually can share screen and then that and each of the breakout rooms once they go in they'll be able to click on this individually and say whiteboard and then when they say share they will get this is actually i just pre-drew it before so this is mine so then um, within each of the rooms every person in that room actually has a chance to draw onto this using this Thing. And if you don't know where that's from, you, you let this drop down and you'll see this annotate, okay, whiteboard annotation. So, um, yeah, if you go here, whiteboard, and then you go, okay, um, you can draw, you can put an arrow, you can stamp with an, with an arrow of your own like this, and people can spotlight, you know, like, they can they can communicate with each other in this way and kind of co-draw the whiteboard together and when they're done they save it okay and when they save it it goes to a certain file it goes to a folder and they just have to remember where that is and uh, when they're done they stop share and then let's say they come back and then now they can they what they do is they have to open up that photo or that whiteboard jpeg and then when they say share screen, you share that photo. Okay, like for Windows, it's it's in Documents, okay, and it's in Zoom, and it has the today's date, and it has this whiteboard saved. Okay, so then you can you can click on this, and when you double click on it, it'll open it up in whatever native photo viewing window there is, right? So here it is. Um, and what, what you have to do is like when you're in the main room, you share this window. Does that make sense? It sh you share this window. So you say share screen and then it's that window photos and you say yes. I will share this. And now that is what everybody else is seeing. Um, you know with something like this I guess like depending on how they're viewing it but basically this is the main screen and the other there are other people that they will be seeing next to them so all right that's how it's done and then each person each room you after this this is done you say okay good next next person and then you stop sharing and the next group will come and share their screen of their work that they did together to create that drawing so that's one of the fun ways in which you can interact over Zoom and have everybody um, in a way like draw together and everybody participate and then present something. So that's how you do tear sheeting exercise in Zoom.